So several 49ers have said they didn't know the Super Bowl overtime rules. Here's Kyle mm -hmm. Juszczyk admitting he wasn't aware of the changes. You know what? I didn't even realize that the the playoff rules were different in overtime. So I have, I assumed you just want the ball because you score a touchdown and win. But I guess that's not the case. Um, so I don't really I don't totally know the strategy there. No. No, we haven't talked about it. No. So do you blame Kyle Shanahan for this loss and not preparing his players for this overtime scenario? Man, it's such a layered question, right? I understand why Kyle Shanahan like took the ball and he talked about the defense being gassed and wanted to have it third because it's the sudden death part of overtime. But I will say when you look at the Niners reactions to the questions compared to those of the Kansas City Chiefs, where they talked about going over these scenarios in training camp and each and every week and in the two weeks leading up to the Super Bowl multiple times, they talked about overtime and how they had a strategy. If we scored a touchdown, we were going to go for two. It does put Kyle Shanahan in a bad light for not fully preparing his team or not telling them the why behind his decisions when it came to uh, taking the ball at the beginning of the overtime. So, yeah, that falls on the coach. Um, it, it, it just, look, coaches are supposed to go over every possible scenario to make sure that your players are prepared for it. And when his players openly admit not being prepared, that it hadn't been discussed, yeah, it's not a good look. You know, I have four head coaches in my playing days, Buck. And I have never, I never felt like I was going into the game unprepared. Not once. Yeah. I yeah. knew every single little detail, rule, you name it. Because whether it was situational football, I can think like the coach. I knew, okay, if we get the first down, here's what we're going to do. If we get into this position, here's what we're going to do. If it's third and 18 with a minute go, here's what we're going to do. I knew everything because we were prepared. And so when you hear a smart guy like uh, you check talking about it, a Harvard graduate, yeah. a guy who been in the league, I think 11, 12 years, it's a long time, not to know a rule change, an overtime rule change, though. One of the biggest reasons they made the overtime rule change <laughs> is with the team you was playing, the Kansas City Chiefs, against the Buffalo Bills in the playoffs. So you would think, that if they were prepared and they knew, things would have been a little bit different, right? Which means, like, if I know that we got to score this touchdown, not just get down there to get a field goal, but we got to score seven, mm -hmm. players may approach it differently. They may mm -hmm. block differently. They may run the route differently. All of those sort of things. But when you don't know something, you just kind of like out there thinking, oh, if we kick a field goal, old rules, way back when, we win the game, you're going to approach it that way. So a lot of it does fall on Kyle. This isn't the reason that they lost the game. There's many mm -hmm. things we could point to in the Super Bowl as to why they lost. But it's kind of funny and ironic that – Kyle Shanahan, for the third time, either offensive coordinator or head coach, has surrendered double-digit leads to lose a Super Bowl. Uh, so, so now, Keyshawn, like, you talk about it, like, there even been times, and I'm sure because you played for great coaches, there are even times that at the end of regulation when you're about to go into overtime, the coach will bring up the entire team. Yes. And tell the team, hey, guys, here's what it is. It's overtime. I just want to remind you, look, everybody gets a possession. This is how it's going to play out. This is what we're doing. It only takes a minute to just remind guys. It's no different than when DB coaches tell guys, hey, look at the sticks. It's third down. Know what we have to defend. Good coaches do that. So it doesn't look good for Kyle Shanahan. Uh, you, you do speak to when you know there's a different level of urgency. That is something that he's going to have to address when the team reconvenes next offseason. He's going to have to talk about those things and own it because he now runs the risk of losing his team because players trust their coaches to put them in the right situation. That now puts him in a compromising situation because they may not trust him in those in the same regard. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, 
Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.